Let's look at the regions of operation of the bipolar junction transistor, or BJT. They are determined for both PNP and NPN transistors by the bias states of the base emitter and collector base junctions. Notice the base emitter junctions are called out in light blue and the collector base junctions are called in, out in light purple. Let's remind ourselves what it means to be forward or reverse biased. See the PN junction in the lower left. It is forward biased if the externally applied voltage leaves the P more positive than the N and reverse biased if the opposite occurs. In the region of operation used for amplification, known as active, the base emitter junction is forward biased and the collector base junction is reverse biased, so minority carriers in the base, which came from the emitter, mostly flow on to the collector. If both the base emitter and collector base junctions are forward biased, the region is called saturation and the transistor acts like a conductor or closed switch. If both junctions are reverse biased, the region is called cutoff and the transistor acts like an open circuit or open switch. The last possibility, where the base emitter junction is reverse biased and the collector base junction is forward biased, is called reverse active, and the transistor behaves as if you switch the collector and emitter in the active region. This region is almost never used because collectors and emitters are optimized for their purposes in the active region.